Basic Sandfish Trap is a tool that will allow you to fish. To obtain it, you have to wait several days until you will receive a mail from Owen. If you acquire the item attached to this mail, you will be able to learn how to craft the Basic Sandfish Trap. Plus, you will receive a side quest called the World of Sandfishing. Now that you have the recipe, you have to interact with your work table, where you will find its recipe that will require two copper bars, two wooden sticks and one thick rope. Speaking about the copper bars, that is the first ingredient of this recipe. The easier way to obtain it is by going to the top right side from your workshop, where you will find a shop called Hammer Time. From here you will be able to buy up to 20 copper bars each day for a price of 26 gold each. In case you don't want to buy it, go to the bottom right side from your workshop where you will be able to access the Ufala Salvage uh, Junkyard. Initially here you will find some mixed junk piles. Mining those will reward you with some copper scraps. That next, by placing them inside the recycler you have a high chance to find some copper bars. Near the junkyard, you also will find the Eufala Salvage Shop, from where you will be able to buy 10 copper scraps each day for a price of 25 gold each. There is also another important method in order to obtain the copper bars. To do so, you have to interact with a furnace that will allow you to convert 3 copper ore into 1 copper bar. For the copper ore itself, you won't be able to farm it until you will reach a quest that will require from you to build a crane lift, that next you can use in order to reach the abandoned ruins. In this dungeon you will find several copper nodes you will be able to mine in order to obtain the copper ore. Occasionally you will get it also by mining the terrain. In alternative, if you want to save your stamina or obtain the copper ore before this mine quest, you can reach the Eufala Salvage Shop to the bottom right side from your workshop. Here you will be able to buy up to 50 copper ore each day for a price of 4 gold each. Speaking about the wooden sticks, that is the second ingredient of this recipe. The main way in order to obtain this material is by interacting with the work table, where you will be able to find its recipe that will require free wood. For the wood itself, early game, before you will craft your first tools, you will be able to obtain wood by gathering the wood piles. In alternative, if you want to save your stamina, run through a tumbleweed. Doing so, it will take damage and after a while it will be destroyed. As a reward, you will receive some wood. For the next method, we have to craft the stone axe. Then find some bushes called the yaktorn and sandflowers. Chopping them down will give you a decent amount of wood. For a larger amount of wood, you have to chop down the cactuses. If you will do it the first time, Burgess will tell you that you cannot continue doing this. If you won't listen to him and continue chopping down cactuses and the other NPCs will be close to your location, they will run toward you and you will lose some reputation with these NPCs. Some of them will be able even to find you for a good amount of gold. A little note, by chopping down the smaller cactuses you will obtain also some wood, but you won't risk any consequences. For the next method, you will need to have a recycler. To obtain some wood, you can place inside it some wood scraps. This also can result in a high chance to even receive directly the wooden sticks. To obtain them, just find the wooden scraps around your workshop that you can collect using your axe. Occasionally, you will obtain from them directly the wood as well. If you want to save your stamina and obtain a good amount of wood, visit the Water World shop located in the top left side of the oasis of the city. Here you will be able to buy up to 100 wood for a price of 6 gold each. Speaking about the thick rope, that is the third and last ingredient of this recipe. Before you will be able to produce it, you have to reach the bottom right side of the Sandrock city, where you have to enter inside the Commerce Guild. Next, immediately on the right, you will find a cash desk you have to interact with. From here, you will need to buy the thick rope recipe that has a cost of 16 gold. Once you have it, interacting with the work table, you will be able to craft the thick rope using four plant fibers. In order to farm the plant fiber early game, you will need a stone axe. 
Next, use it in order to chop down the plants you will find around your workshop. Because part of the plants will reward you with a good amount of plant fibers plus some other ingredients. You also can obtain this material by gathering the smaller plants like the oregano and the sunberries. Also by gathering the wood piles you can obtain the plant fiber as well. But this method is less efficient compared to the previous. If you will find a tumbleweed and you will run through it, you will be able to damage it. Doing so didn't cost any stamina and at the end you will receive some wood or plant fiber. 